the chances. What's up, y'all? This is Racket Rider 510, and I'm talking about gear again. And today, I'm starting to wonder, is this the end of cameras? So me and my girl, we back on a little vacay. Got a little mini vacay, gonna come out here and meet her friend. We can go out to eat dinner here soon, but as usually y'all know, I like to document the occasion, and, and I always gotta bring a camera along. <laughs> no matter how much I start talking about uh, I'm not gonna film much, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, it never happens, I end up filming the whole thing. Which is most likely is usually good because you like to look back and see those events. So, like I'm saying, I'm really all about cameras. Part of this YouTube, why I do it is because, again, love playing with cameras and I love the editing process. And, and on this trip, hopefully, I brought my camera, my old rangefinder, my Canon VL2, try to take some shots. Uh, this one's uh, got some film in it. I started this role uh, when we went to Grayton Casino on my birthday, but I never really took any shots and, and haven't took it out since. I wanted to run a couple, run this role, finish this role. It's color filming here. And, I like that camera for the aesthetics, but this is the one that's, that's more functional for me, the Canon 7 right here. Uh, this is a, a follow-on to that camera. That's technically a Canon 5 series, but this is a 7 series. So again, like I say, I love cameras in general. And I realize I've been into cameras since I was like seven or eight years old. It's kind of crazy in elementary school we had to, we had a little project where we had to make make a little book and, and my book that I chose to make was about cameras <laughs> it's kind of crazy because it was old school you know I showed the kind where you basically now I know those large format cameras where you get under the hood to take the picture and all that and yeah like I'm saying I've been in the cameras for a long time started kind of even dabbling in photography when I was around 16 so it's been on and off ever since then that's why I had to go back to my film these film cameras, I like how it's a lot simpler. Uh, it kind of slows you down. You got your main controls on your shutter speed and your aperture to worry about, and your film speed. Uh, your film speed and your lens is basically what decides the look. So a lot more simple, slow you down, uh, make you more focused on your composition and lighting and stuff like that. So the camera doesn't get in, in the way of the photographer. You know what I mean? And nowadays we have all these crazy cameras with you know these digital mirrorless cameras with all types of autofocus sensors and you know things damn near take the picture for yourself so again that's what kind of brought me back to old film you know what I mean to be able to understand and when I take an image that everything was on me so like I'm saying I really just enjoy cameras in general and so it's starting to be a little fear that this is the end of cameras because most people as you know pretty much use their cell phone for a camera and camera sales are down drastically compared to five, 10 or 20 years ago. And so if it all comes down to it to where we're shooting on a cell phone, I won't be happy. Cause I like the, the feeling of looking through a viewfinder and all of that, you know what I mean? It's, it's just a, a certain feel you get when you do that compared to having a cell phone and looking at the back of the screen. I just don't like that. It's cool for video for me, but when I'm taking stills, I like to see, I like to look through that viewfinder. You get a certain feel, like I'm saying, kind of takes you to me, it takes me to another world. And so I'm starting to wonder, I'm starting to worry, is this the end of cameras? So yeah, like 
I said, we're out here in Pacific Grove, which is uh, right next to Monterey. Took our little day trip. Uh, I'm gonna get a couple, try to give me some nice shots out here. Matter of fact, I wanna throw this drone up in the air in a minute and get some, some footage of this hotel. That's a pretty decent hotel right here. Sitting not too far from the beach. Got a nice kind of classic feel to it. So I'm not gonna uh, spend much time right here on camera. We're gonna get ready to go eat. We're gonna go meet my girl's friend, Monique. And uh, I definitely appreciate Monique because she's been watching my, my videos. So it'd be kind of cool to meet somebody that kind of have seen me, but I don't know them. <laughs> that always kind of weird a little bit sometime with the YouTube thing, but it's kind of a cool experience either, either way. So let me quit bullshitting here. We're gonna get ready to head out here for a second, get settled in, get everything ready. And then I'm gonna go see about taking some shots. So after I finish with that color roll, I'm gonna throw some black and white in a can of seven and see what we can do. We don't have much time here and it'll be getting late here. So I'm not sure how many shots I'm gonna get either way. So if I don't get many tonight, maybe we'll go down to the beach and do some landscape stuff. But again, let me go on and quit bullshitting on this camera and, and, and we're about to head out and go get our eat on. I'm hungry as hell anyway. All right, so we're about to go head out and go eat. It's nice, see they got this little stairway right here, right by our room. So I keep saying that, but <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna film. We just about to kind of try to enjoy ourselves. Maybe take a few shots and not get so crazy with the cameras. <laughs> but I went with it. You think it's not fully cooked, but you think it's dry. It was not fully it, cooked. It was. It was actually like you know how you get to the bottom of the pan. Oh yeah. And it's that dry, crunchy. <laughs> oh yeah. no! On the yeah. red. Oh. On, on the rice. The on rice the rice. Bit, yeah. Oh my gosh! All right, so we just got our little eat on over there at the Deja Blues. It was pretty decent food. We had nice little live music right there. But at the end, it was a little, little janky because they kicked everybody out because they got a comedy show. So, yeah, they kind of rushed us out of there, but it's cool because I need to go. We need to go before sunset. I want to give me a couple of nice shots, get some, some nice drone shots today, and maybe go play with my cameras. $35 to go pay. Make this guy go all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty good. I uh, had nice fun and 
Monique, it was nice to meet you. Finally meet you in person. <laughs> so that you're part of my YouTube world, but definitely appreciate you. My girl speak highly of you. So yeah, again, it was my pleasure. All right, so we had a nice little meal. We're back at the hotel now and uh, something about cameras and shit. I didn't even get to do none of the film photography. <laughs> I pulled the camera out at the end because I wanted to capture some pics of, of my girl and, and, and Monique and I went, took one shot of them two and it was at the end of the roll. So I didn't remember and didn't know that it was at the end and, and with that counter, it's kind of sometimes a little bit unpredictable. You kind of can't tell how many shots you got. So that's one of those, uh, little difficulties when you're dealing with film cameras. But now I'm about to get the other kind of camera that I like, that aerial camera. Let's get this uh, camera up in the sky and see what kind of shots we can get at a hotel. Feels like the first time Throw away all my pride Don't wanna say I love you first But holding it in just might make me burst Love in the open Daydreaming, hoping Melting in our make-believe new worlds Whispering winds bring the remembrance That you're my girl No shame No care That was a nice flight, a little nerve wracking though because I barely had my little whereabouts because where we at, but it was cool to get that camera in the sky. I didn't do much as I would want with my cameras today. And sometimes, uh, matter of fact, even this camera get, get on my nerves a little bit. I miss my Canon RP. If you saw it in the beginning of the year, I got this little Sony ZV-1F, mostly because I wanted 4K, it shoots 4K. But I do kind of like the, that it's portable, nice compact size for my backpack and it's unobtrusive. A lot of people don't really pay too much attention when you got a little camera like that compared to my big rig of the Canon RP. So yeah, this is kind of random <laughs> mini vacay slash with just my thoughts on whether cameras are going to end or not. And I really hope they don't because like I'm saying, this is really uh, one of my joys. I really enjoy the, the mechanical aspect of cameras. I enjoy the science of it capturing light like that you know what I mean and all and and just the whole thing about it so obviously as you guys see as I'm still on here on YouTube plugging away with no money and no views <laughs> so you gotta love it to be doing this shit like that for as long as I have but that's it I'm just hoping cameras aren't coming to an end like I'm saying as a matter of fact you guys hit me in the comments and let me know your opinion on that or also are you really into cameras or what do you think they're coming to an end hit me in the comments below and if you do to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And the rest of my YouTube vocalizations, y'all hit the thumb nuts. All right, this is Rocket Rider 510. Enjoying all my cameras again. And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Arsh. A little different than all the rest. I'm quite old fashioned, wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame. That I adore So hard to find They seem impossible to score So I dream of